Yes, it's time for the real peace. It's time for the real peace. No. <laughs> thank you very much. <sighs> oh, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Sorry, oh. Oh, my shoe. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> At least you love yourself. I think self-love is one of the most, the most important. Yeah, important. Yes. If you don't love you yourself, people will never love you. Mm -hmm. mm, so sure. for our real piece today, prison or a permanent home, mm. which is uh, the story of most people in Kirikiri. Well, according to the gorious of tales emanating from Nigerian prisons, it is indeed hell on earth. It is gathered that the prevailing unhealthy practice of holding charge by police has been fingered as major reason for as major reason for prison congestion in the country. There are countless unkempt children, unkempt children, <laughs> wow, with their eyes popping in a manner that suggests poor diets. In the prison, yeah, in the there prisons. are children in prisons. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. For instance, if your mother is um, is is imprisoned and you don't have anywhere to stay. I think they're children in prison. Wow. Or if your mother is detained short term, sometimes. Wow. Anyway, that suggests poor diets while their mothers are kept in a penetrable and very dirty places. Wow. In same prisons, there are also pregnant inmates, of course, I'm sure, many of whom also give birth there. As many questions that, as many questions that readily come to mind include who are the fathers of these children? Mm. I say the prison wardens are the warder, mm -hmm. warder was, and yep. then the prisoners as well. Elsewhere, prisons are reformatory centers. In Nigeria, they are punitive concentration camps and are over congested. Mm. Mm. The welfare of the inmates is a premium, is not a. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let me put it this way the welfare of the inmates is not in the most premium states. Let me put it like that. Mm. While the prison workers' morale is at the lowest ebbs. Uh, budget for... Well, uh, long story, but oh, we now, you we now get this long story. <laughs> well, I, I got this from our content guy. We, he does a great job. Yemi or... or like, so you could have... Yeah, yeah. Yemi, well done. It. We really no, no, appreciate it, the work it, you do. Everything he put there was actually very... Um, he spoke about uh, Kuye prison and Kirikiri. Kirikiri I have visited when I was in secondary school. That place was looking awful. Anyway, um, the question is this. How many of the prisoners in Nigeria are actual criminals? About, what, maybe 0.5%? You think? Mm -hmm. it's, well, it's I think there are more. I think, I think there are more criminals there than 0.5%. No, I, I think more, more of the criminals are let to go free. But uh, see, yes, the, 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 the big criminals are walking on the street. Yeah. Free. Exactly, are walking yeah, on the street. The ones that they're, like, they're most likely what petty thieves yeah. and like you stole bag of Gary. I'm yeah. telling you, or all these prison. random things. Yeah. Exactly. Or they stole five k from their ogre. It's hard to be, because I have heard so many stories of people who are just walking on the street and police just pick them mm. up yes. for no reason because they want to try to you know extort some mm. bill or money maybe from guys them. in the joints they come and pack everybody. Exactly. Up Even if there's if there's just one person that is guilty, then mm. just come and take everybody or. I've heard stories of, I, I, there was this story I heard about um, some house and then the landlord having a problem with one of the tenants and then called police and police came and packed people who were even just visiting, wow. you know, or just visiting somebody in the next compound or something, just packed everybody. Like, wow. it makes no sense. The prisons are full, yeah. but they are not even full of the people mm -hmm. that they are built for. Mm -hmm. Well, Panty, Panty Prison have a solution for that because I, I, I heard, according to reports, I don't know how true this is, but most times when they have people that are even innocent, they go as far as killing those people just to decongest yeah, they yeah. I think it's a, just, it's a reflection on the justice system in Nigeria, the fact that there's no proper justice system. One, mm. people are not judged fairly, so you go to court, it's who has the money you know, that would mm -hmm. get bail or would go out. If you don't have money, your case is locked up for so long. Yeah. I know in the prison ministry in church, most of the biggest things they do for them, apart from the food they give to them, is that they actually give them free legal um, Advice. support. Do you understand? Some of them, mm. they're just there because they don't have lawyers. They actually haven't done anything, or what they've done is not commensurate to their time in prison exactly. or anything. So usually the biggest things you can do for them, usually people in prison ministries are lawyers. You know, they try to put lawyers there. So when they go there, they can take... Some of them are just like, please, can you call this number? So that you can tell source and my family that I am um, here. Yeah, because most know. yeah, because yeah. they don't even let them have one phone call yeah. to call someone. Actually, uh, this is a true story. I have a family friend. So her uncle was bundled from where he was selling. All of a sudden, they just packed everybody. They said something was missing. Took him to Kirikiri. When he came back, his inner region wasn't the same. He was in hospital for three months. Mm. The place was destroyed. Mm. Are you serious? For no, yeah, like they, they finished that. Even till date, he he acts as if he has mental problem because mm. he just can't get over the fact that he was raped over and over again by men. 
like him. And it's really painful because you put people there, they come out and even become criminals because they were innocent hey. people. They got them mixed with the bad people and become criminals. Wow. But let us know what you think. And I hope the government and the federal government watches the blog. This show is very intelligent and will help your wits. Um, send us your comments on Twitter and Facebook, Cool TV, the blog. Or you can also send us an email, blog at cooltv.co. And please remember to use our hashtag. Love, love to blog. Back to you, Carol. That's how to say. This is final words. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm, I'm, I like PDA, and I think it's usually nice to show your love, you know, in public and all that. But I think some stories are teaching me how to keep quiet and put my relationship under wraps because if you make your relationship very public, when you have issues, it's going to be a public matter. People are going to be eating and picking their teeth while dissecting your matter. So please, to a very large extent, keep things that supposed to be private very private. And I have to say, I spoke with a guy today that told me how much he loves uh, the intimacy with women, but he met this particular girl that wants to go celebrate and he's not done anything for close to a year. So if this guy that I know how he is can practice self-control, I think self-control can be practiced everywhere. Don't go out there sleeping around, giving your wife disease and, <laughs> and, and, and laying What for a what is this? This is not a real piece. Oh, you oh stop proceed, it? proceed. No, I like it. <laughs> I think it's very... <laughs> Where did you pop up from with that? <laughs> Wow. Epistle. Hashtag. You've got on your blog. You don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to keep it brief and simple. Look, do what you love, love what you do, and eventually the world will come to you. You don't need to go about this in your home country. Oh. You'll be all right. So we'll be here same time tomorrow, 3 to 4 p.m. This is the blog. We love you. Good night. So, did you like what you just saw? I know you did. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. If you want to see more, just subscribe to our channel right now.